you ever feel like if you go by a thrift store, you're missing something that's in the thrift store? Well, today, I feel like there's definitely something there and I just have to go get it. And I don't know if I've talked about the karma before, the custodian karma. I know you guys have heard me say that I'm the custodian and that we are custodians of these things that are worth maintaining and keeping. But there's a karma that goes with that. And the karma is, you know, you find things, you keep things, you take care of them, and then you find new homes for them. And because of that, you have credit in the bank of karma. It's you have good credit in the karma bank and you find things, you know, and the better you take care of things and the better you, you know, become a filter for these things, the better your karma will be. Your so today's the day. It's an unscheduled thrift stop and we'll see if my instincts, my intuition is correct. Okay, we're here. Mask up. Sun hat. I was right, that was successful. And I have a line across my nose from the mask. So that's how much time I was in there. I was in there um, probably a little bit more than an hour. And the first thing I saw when I walked in is a pair of Supergas that I have been wanting. I almost bought them twice recently at retail. I literally almost bought these exact sneakers. They are the exact ones I wanted with the gray suede. They, they are the exact ones that I was about to purchase. They, I wanted the gray suede Supergas and they're my size and they're exactly what I was looking for that I almost bought full price twice recently. So now I got them and they were, I should say, $15. And then, not sure why I bought this. I think it's because there was a Poshmark girl that picked it up and put it down and so I was influenced by her <laughs> because I like more than three people but it's cute and that was 350 and then I the other stuff is like incidental really the reason I was there was the sneakers and I know that but then I saw this and this is cashmere and it's a bat wing and it's new and you know $25 so I kind of couldn't resist I know the value of this and it's my color and I'll enjoy wearing it in winter. And then, oh, this was a total score, guys. This actually, this might have been, if I hadn't found the sneakers, I would have thought this was the reason. Look at this. Iridescent, old, vintage sequin with bugle beads on the seams. And this one was 350. So, can I get anything else? Oh, I got, this is great. This is so cool. I, I don't know the brand. I think it's European. It has European sizing. It's just one of these athletic type jackets, but it's got a zipper that goes like that. So it's really flattering on. And I like the, um, the style of it, the cut and the fabric. So that's just a run around. And oh my God, I thought there was something else now too. Am I losing my mind? <laughs> hot in this car oh I know what it was I am going to head back to the studio and style these up a little bit so that'll be fun morning I just watched the video from yesterday I haven't had my coffee yet um, but I watched the video from the thrift store yesterday and I realized I should have gotten the gold pumps so 
I'm hoping they're still there and I'm going to go back and get them. And my goal today is just go and get them and then go to the studio and edit the way I'm supposed to. And we're back in my studio and this is what I thrifted and we start with the shoes and I cannot resist a shiny shoe. I realize that almost every day I'm wearing a shoe that's shiny. So, and then what else was thrifted? This, and I haven't tried it on yet, so I don't know if it fits, but it's a great one, really good sequined piece. I like the um, iridescent sequin. The iridescent black sequin is really great and the bugle beads on the seams is nice. And then there was this one and we're going to style that up so that it looks okay. And then there's this one which isn't really to style but um, we'll see what it looks like. And then this, which turned out to be, oh, it's so wrinkled. This turned out to be a poncho. This is a gorgeous cashmere blend poncho. And then I've already started. I thought that I would try mixing these finds with, this is what I already have. As you can see, it's on my hangers. So this is my sequined cape, which can be worn two ways. And a fun blazer with hand-painted leather that's reversible and this dress. I see the poncho over that. So, so what I'm trying to do is mix thrifted with vintage into a modern style, right? Hence the title of the video, Thrift with a Vintage Expert. And let's make some looks. <laughs> 